What I want to talk about today is you create your own emotions. So I know it's easier to really want to blame other people and it can be way more convenient to blame other people as well for our emotions. But actually where our emotions come from is our emotions come from our thoughts. So we have a thought about something and then we have a feeling about it. And so when you're like, oh, but my sister made me so mad because she did this thing. Well, actually she does what she does and then you have a thought about it so let's just say that your sister yelled at you so you have the thought uh, sorry your sister yelled at you and then you have the thought she shouldn't yell at me she's disrespectful how dare she yell at me like this is not even I didn't even do this this was her thing so why is she yelling at me so all of those are thoughts that you're having about what she did and then from there, if you then have an emotional reaction to that, depending on the thought you have. So if you have a thought about being disrespected, then you like will feel disrespected. If you like, how dare she yell at me, then you may have the emotion of anger. And so it's literally impossible for somebody else to make you feel a certain way. And also the reverse of that, like I can't make anyone, you can't make anyone feel a certain way about anything. And you know sometimes like someone may have done something to us that we think that is wrong or it shouldn't be that way. And then what happens is like, and they don't feel bad about it, they don't even seem to care. And you're like, hang on a minute, like, you've done this awful thing to me and you don't even feel bad about it. And it, at that time, we would really love to be able to make that other person feel bad. But it's literally impossible. And so if we can't make other people feel a certain way, and then certainly they can't make us feel a certain way. So whether they feel bad or not about something that they've done is completely dependent on the thoughts that they have about it. So if they feel sorry for what they've done, then they like will feel bad about that. But if they don't, if they have a different thought about it, then they're going to have a different feeling. So just to recap, nobody can make you feel a certain way. Now this in one on one hand is really great news, and then on the other, you might feel think, well actually, like if other people aren't making me feel the way I feel, then what do I do about that? So then you get to choose how you feel about things. So when something happens in your life, and it can be something somebody else did to you, but it can also be just a circumstance that happens in life. Your car gets broken into, or you don't get the promotion that you want, or any of those kinds of things as well. The actual event isn't what causes your emotions. What causes your emotions, as we've already talked about, is the thought that you have about it. So if you don't get the promotion you want, the thought can be, well, I'm not good enough, or they just picked somebody else that they were friends with. Whatever your thought is, it's going to give you that emotion. Now, what's great about this is that if it's not external things causing your emotions, then you can do something about it. So you look at the thoughts that you're having about it. Now, I'm not saying that we want to feel great all the time about things that happen in our life, but it's really good to know that those external things aren't the cause of it. And then why sometimes this isn't great news is because if it's all us that's creating our own emotions, then we have to get responsible for ourselves. We have to start getting responsible for the thoughts that we're having about things. Because if it's the thoughts that we're having, we can't blame our parents, we can't blame our job, we can't blame people in our lives, we can't blame the economy, we can't blame all the things out there for the way that we feel about things. So I invite you to start having a look at, instead of when something happens, it's like that's fault, that person's fault, the circumstances fault that I'm feeling this way, you start to have a look and slow down a bit and think actually what thoughts did I have about it that gave me that certain emotion that I had. And you're going to really start to see where you can take your power back in your life because if you have control over your thoughts and of course then you start to have the control over your emotions. So have a look at 
that this week, you can go back on things that you responded to. One of the things I want to warn you though, is sometimes when we start looking at our thoughts, then we get a bit judgmental of ourselves. Oh, I shouldn't think that. Oh, this has been my fault. All of that is completely useless. It doesn't help anything. Our thoughts are our thoughts. And when we start to get aware of them, this is a trap that we can start to fall into. So I want you to not do that. Just start to have a look at the connection between the thoughts that you're having and the feelings that you're having. And just go with that. We're not judging our thoughts. We're not judging anything that's going on. And you'll be really interested to see what happens with that.